because when we are, we're doing the commentary on the game, and when you see it first time, you don't know effectively. You really don't know. You're, you're, you're like the punters, you know, in the stadium because you're watching it. So you don't know. And then it, we've got a wee light that goes on to say VAR are checking it, right? And then you think, oh, well, okay, maybe. And then you think to the last one, VAR had a quick check and didn't bother, you know, when I think there was a previous one which might have hit Lewis Miley's arm. Anyway, and, I've, and then I've saw it, right? And I've saw it and I'm convinced that he can't give a penalty. Right, mm. because I, I just think that nah, it's impossible. So I, I've said, no, nah, he can't give that. And then he, he actually does give it. And I thought, oh, I don't know what you thought yourself. I thought he'd refereed the game very well up to that point. I really do. I thought he'd, he'd had a particularly good good evening. And I thought he was strong. And I thought, well, he's one of these boys that, you know, doesn't matter where he is. he's going. Un- unlike the clown at Fulham Wolves. Oh, that was unbelievable, mate, as well. I mean, that, well, here, here's one for you. We'll, we'll get back to that one right now that you've made that point. And it'd be fair to Andy. I, I, Andy was at the game and he watched it. And, and Jamie Harrow, who we spoke to yesterday, they actually could understand how the second one was... I didn't think any of those were penalties, the, the, the two Fulham ones. Mm. I didn't think any of them were penalties. They, they could understand how the second one was given, didn't think the first one was given. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, anything's possible last night. After last night... Anything is well, possible. Well, Ali, I, I thought I'd seen it all to see the headbutt and VAR checked it and said, carry on. Uh, that, that was just unbelievable. Vinicius. The, the, we're talking about people yeah. watching that yeah. in the VAR studio or at Stockley, whatever, yeah. who don't understand football. Correct. The big centre half goes down and rolls about, it's a red card off. Correct. 100%, mate. 100%. And. The flip side of the coin, you're 100% spot on. If he goes down, it's a penalty. He gets sent off, it's a red card. And if the two Fulham players don't go down, they don't give a penalty. Mm, correct. correct. So it's it's absolutely unbelievable. Uh, well, I've got the stage now, and I hear that VAR... Uh, listen, I'll get back to Paris in just a moment because it was a great game, right? And I don't want to take anything away from that. But uh, I've got the stage now. Var, they're talking about getting involved in more things. Oh man, it's got to be binned. I would, I would, ch- I, I'd, honestly, if I wasn't watching football because uh, of my job and talking about it and, yeah. uh, and having a great four hours and chat and laugh and serious stuff as well, I wouldn't watch it. I'm, t- I'm sick of it. I've, I've had too many letdowns. And those Newcastle, uh, sorry, those uh, Wolves fans who travel all the way See, to yeah. West London and all the way back, they think they've been mugged on the tube. Absolutely. I think they've been mugged no, on I, the tube. I, I, could, I could not agree with you more. And then they keep saying to us, it's here to stay. And then yesterday we did a piece. They're, they're wanting to get involved more. They're wanting to get involved oh. in corners. They're wanting to get involved in free kicks. And Ali, and we also, think, we oh, also hear... Lord. I couldn't also, think anything worse. And we also hear that penalty last night in Bappe would not have been given in the Premier League. So how does that work? So it's two different Correct. rules. One You're for right. the Champions League and another for the Premier League. How can you have that? Al, that penalty last night, I don't care what anybody said, should not be given anywhere on the planet, never mind anything else. It, that's that, that's as bad as I've ever seen. It really, really is. And that's why the whole thing's a laughing stock. And that's why you're right. Because see if the referee had given the penalty and there was no VAR, you'd have just went, oh, he's, blo- he's blown that one. What a mistake he's made there. But because, there's, you're right, there's actually two people. There's a guy looking at that. In VAR and saying you need to come over and look at this. Mm. Here's so one for you, Ali. Thinking? Oh, Ali, here's one. Good morning, boys. I went to Fulham on Monday. By the way, I'm, t- I'm taking nothing away from Fulham, right? Fulham battled away. And they needed it. Right? They needed it, right? But uh, this he says, Good morning. I went to Fulham on Monday, uh, Monday night. It cost me just under 400 quid for a hotel, train tickets for mm. two people. I'm now starting to question am I wasting my money? Right. If I'm going to be cheated every week, 43 years I've followed the Wolves at home and away, this will probably be my last season because of Vard, says Cookie. Uh, Cookie, I'd, I, I'm with what? you. Don't worry about that. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not, I've not woke up the wrong side of the bed. I was raging. In fact, the weekend, I actually seen one referee call to the monitor. I'm going, no way. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forget what game. I watched a lot of it. It might have been an Italian game, but I watched a lot of Italian. Anyway, and over the monitor, his initial decision was no. He went the monitor, looked at it, came back and shook his head. No. And I thought, mm-hmm. well done, referee. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. But, and by the way, that, that 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 last penalty, the ref's six yards away. He's got a great view of it. Oh my god. So let goodness. him get on with it. 
they're, 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 it's making a complete mockery. And, and Cookie's here, the Wolves fan. My, I don't blame I, him. Oh, my phone went last. My mate's watching the game back in Glasgow. The, my, I got a, a dozen immediately after the game. Every one of my mates saying, it's diabolical. It's robbery. It's theft. Yeah. It's a disgrace. Every one of them. And they're all right. And you're right. It's it is, it is actually affecting the game. I, I was I was actually raging after the game yeah, last night, yeah. and I've not got a dog in the fight. To be really honest, well, you. I, I went to bed because I had to leave at three this morning. I knew the weather was going to be bad, but I, I didn't want to go to bed because I, I was loving the tempo of the game. It was yeah. fantastic, and, and, and Newcastle so unlucky not to. Oh, don't get me wrong. Paris had a lot of chances, of but the way they Newcastle did. worked, their togetherness, their organisation was brilliant. Spirit. By the way. The spirit, the spirit was absolutely immense. They didn't have Eddie Howe didn't have anything in the bench. Well, he didn't have anything. That's disrespectful. He had young kids on the bench. His injury list is absolutely unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And it was a good old fashioned backs to the wall. Yeah. The full backs worked their socks off. They would come in and cover for the centre backs. Likewise, if the full backs had caught forward, the centre backs would come out. Almiron didn't know how many times he came back and helped out. Was it Trippier in front, mm -hmm. uh, behind him and things like that? It was just a pro. And do you know that way? I'm actually doing the commentary in the game out and I'm looking at the clock and I'm saying I hope the boys hang out here I hope the boys hang on I really hope they hang on and I just felt I was I, I was raging after that game um, I'm just so disappointed for Eddie Howe in Newcastle well I tell you what commentating for talks went past with Sam Sam Marface he gave an explanation why this penalty could be given have a listen the ball goes into the box it's played up towards Liveramento's body it hits the side of his body and then hits his arm now as far as I'm aware, the law states that if there's a deflection onto the arm, then surely it's not a penalty. Sam Matterface no. is going to come in and tell us exactly what that is. It, it doesn't. That isn't, the, uh, that isn't the law. That's the guidance that is applied in the Premier League. It doesn't occur. In, the, in fact, they, they, I think there was a point in the international football where that was the guidance too, but that isn't the case in Europe. And I've actually seen a few penalties like this. I've been doing a load of Champions League games, not only for talk sport, but for international television as well. And it, it, sadly, this happens a lot, where you see a deflection of a part of the body, and then if the arm is away from the natural silhouette, it is still given. In Spain, that is given all day, every single time, and no one complains about it. A bit like last night's penalty, that will be given in Spain as well. Yeah. But in the Premier League, we don't tolerate that. Well, where was his arm meant to be? Up his backside? I, you know, I, but, I don't get it. That's my point. What are they talking about? Natural silhouette. <laughs> what are you talking about? Na Sam, behave, man. <laughs> you, if you go to close somebody down, your hands move in a natural manner, so therefore your hands are going to be in a natural silhouette, whatever you do. It's... The, I, I said last night, oh, I don't know whether you agree or not, they're going to have to get the word deliberate back into it in some <laughs> shape or form. Because as MD that's played the game, MD watches the game with any common sense, 99 times out of 100 will know where there's been a deliberate action to stop the ball with your hand and play the ball with your hand. That is going to have to come back into the law in some way, shape or form. Mm. Newcastle fans, let's hear from you this morning. Just hearing Sam Marface's ex explanation to why it was given, does that make it easier for you? Do you go into what this morning with a skip? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, bet you. Lovely, no problem. Well, Sam got it right, did he? Well, you beat Milan to make it into the knockouts. 03 717 From what I've seen of Milan, boys, don't worry, is the number to give us a call. It's now coming up 614. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.